What's going on, you fam? Or you didn't hear? So it looks like the new banners are dropping Sunday. Sunday after reset. You probably know by now that we got a maintenance uh, notice. So at the time of recording, it's the 29th. Uh, you will see this on the 30th, which means on that day we'll have maintenance. And then on reset is when the banners are going to drop. Uh, so I'm just going to say now I will be doing my summons live on Twitch. The link will be in the description box below. I will start the live stream 15 minutes before the banners are up, aka 15 minutes before maintenance ends. And then we'll be doing some live summons. So if you guys have seen the first video, or well last year's video with the 16k CC summons, they're pretty hype. So why don't you drop on by, get part of the hype, have some fun, we'll summon together, we'll all collectively pool our luck together and pull some fire units. So tune on in, come on over, it'll be fun. I will be tired though, so don't mind my voice being all deep and groggy. Now in terms of the video, we're just gonna look at Fusion Warriors. Think of a make a simple video here. Fusion Warriors tag's gonna get buffed up when they get their Super Saiyan Blue variant. We've already seen early uh, information of their kits, and he looks ridiculous. And to think that his perfect covering counter is the last year version of himself, craziness, pure craziness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use them. It's a tag that didn't need help, but they got a whole bunch of it. So enough about that. Let's jump into some PVP. Alright, match number one going up against FAS, running Fusion Warriors as well. Uh, I, he clearly is and already knows who he's going to use, so... Ah, uh, man, poor Blue Gogeta. I'm going to run you just for old time's sake, because the poor, the homie got replaced. Alright, here we go. Starting with Kefla, of course. And unprecedented time, big rips. You only got strike cards, so I'm going to go ahead and do that without hesitating. Ooh, hello yellow boy. I'm not going to leave just yet, just because I want that countdown to drop a little bit. Well played. Uh, oh, wow, that hurts. Hmm. What do I do? That's fine. I'll do this. See what our friend's up to. Ooh, double transformation. Yes, yes, yes. Let's back up a little bit here. Crap, he vanished right at the ideal moment here. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. I'm not switching out. I think he dropped that. He took a second. No, he didn't. It looked like it took too long. He's probably going to faint me. That's usually how it goes when I face Kefla, so... Oh, what? I guess when I call the game out for it. Hello? I am just playing this terribly. Gonna wait for him to jump. Damn, he does not... He doesn't hesitate. We are getting absolutely destroyed. We gotta smarten up and stop playing this like a fool. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh-oh, we're dead. Kefla's gonna pop in and beat us up. Strike. Your aggression is crazy, friend. He's coming for a tackle. Gotta beat you up, sorry buddy. Gotta keep a long combo going here just because I need to get my hands on. Did we get him in time? Yep. Okay. He's probably gonna come in for another tackle, so I gotta I gotta skadoodle on out. Tackle again, yep. Go to you. I need to increase my card draw speed. Either Kefla dies or he dies. It's 
his choice. Alright, so Gotenks should be kaput. Alright, he is definitely choosing him as a Rising Rush target. Oh, I was late, damn it! Thought I had enough time. My biggest concern is uh, Super Vegito getting Rising Rush. Yeah, it was a little obvious. Okay, to the next one we go! Oh. Now we're gonna have a blue version of him talking smack. It's Oh god, let's jump in for the next one. Okay, match number two going up against Yosha Anniversary, who is clear. Wait a minute, I I just overlooked the fact that Kefla's at 14 stars. You monster! Oh my goodness. Um, holy crap. He is definitely excited for the anniversary. My word. So we need you. I need a good red. I should have put Go Tanks on this, but I only have him at four stars. Um, so I need a lock in. I need to be able to lock in and beat her up and wither down his team. Uh, I don't think he's going to bring Super Vegito, so our lineup is going to be this. Let's do this. Alright, brother, I can feel your excitement through the phone. <laughs> this guy's so ready. Oh, no! Chop combo. That's a negative, Captain. Here you go. Bring the yellow boy here. Is that a tackle? Crap. Why did I wait for two? Uh, what's the point of letting him take damage? Go to defense boy. After all, he's the boy with lots of defense. Big brain. Uh oh, he has a rising rush, doesn't he? Aha. I'm locking you in. Because Kefla needs to beat him up. Alright, Kefla. I know what you're capable of doing. Gonna do this. I uh, need the inflicted damage up. And then that'll be the finisher. One person down. That's key. Uh, I think in this hyper power meta, just being able to eliminate one person is the most important thing. So one person's out of the way. That's a negative, sir. Ooh! Well played. If it goes for the rising, we'll swap out, but otherwise, we gotta heal here. Can I risk it? No, not worth the risk. Absolutely not worth the risk. Nice. Not gonna go right away in the odd chance that he still has a strike. There we go. This is just dumb. Like, just Kefla being able to do this is just so silly to me. Look, I have a Rising Rush already. What is this? Oh! Uh oh. I guess we gotta force the vanish. Still has his main. Oh. You just. You always just go back to Kefla. That's what makes. Oh god. She's gonna draw another card too, I think. Yeah, so. Super Vegito. Into the alt. Alright, so that's two down. Nice. Now I just need to make sure Red Super Vegito is up. Purple Boy can be our risk. Nice, vanishes out of the way. It's okay if we lose him. He doesn't have his vanish anymore. And if he goes for the rising, then we'll be alright. I think there's a tackle? Oh. Sorry brother, I think this is... Kaput. 
To think they're about to give this team another LF. Good god. Let's jump in for the next one. Alright, match number three going up against Nailson. More fusion warriors. I oh god, the, the meta is just gonna be fusion warriors for a long time. I hope I hope everyone's prepared. This is quite half his team is basically red, so you there's a there's a good reason for you to be here. I think going with you two. Hmm, Super Vegito. Kind of want to bring red Vegito. I don't I don't know if I want to bring the yellow one. Might not be a good idea. Now nah, I'll bring purple. I assume he starts with Kefla. Most people. Oh, go tanks. Hello. I'm doing a green card too. Oh god, here we go. Dropping combo. Hello. Go to you because you only have one other uh, one other option, and that is Kefla. So we essentially boxed him in. God damn it! Could we not have drawn another card? Oh. They're probably late. Alright. Is he gonna switch? Hey, likewise thinking. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna leave. I uh, cannot bring out Super Vegito, and I may as well capitalize on Kefla just constantly beating people up. Alright, you're dead. I kind of want to keep these blast cards for blue, though, Cheeto. Oh, wait, Kefla's next. No point. Goodbye, little one. Oh, nice. I was trying to keep some distance from us. Oh. Get rid of you. Actually, I probably should have comboed. I don't know if it will. Hmm. Okay, another little stop time event thingy ma thing. Ah, oh, okay. Usually, so usually when you jump early. Uh, instinctively, your opponent is like, hey, I'm gonna jump too. That sucks. That's just like salt in the wound. But usually, your opponent will go ahead and think, I'm gonna sidestep too, which is why you can catch him off guard. That's why you see a lot of people do an early sidestep and then go straight for a strike card. More often than not, it'll catch him. Careful's just dumb. We'll jump in for another one. Okay, match number four going up against Sun Max. Running. I'm having difficulty understanding the premise, but considering Sun Max has a lot of good games and he made the top cut for the last season, there's premise, there's a reason behind this, and I'm sure he knows what it is. So, we can't. Uh, we're trying to figure it out. I would imagine he's just gonna run the Fusion Warriors and the Kid Goku because I see a lot of teams where people just throw on Kid Goku because he's so good so what we're gonna do is okay here we go I think it's mainly okay I'm gonna go for blast just so I can charge step Increase my combo a little bit here. And then keep my distance. Let's back up. I don't trust your green card. Nice. Pop one of you. Pop another one. Transform. Alright, so he's going for a blast card. He likes to go for tap, so I can move back. Oh, tackle! Uh oh, I should uh, take that strike card off. I can't vanish that. <laughs> God damn it, game! I'm gonna go straight away because I don't know how early he gets his main. Uh oh, I got my main too. 
There we go. You have way faster key restore speeds, so... Sorry, not that key restore... Really? We'll pop the main. This thing nullifies Endurance, so if he comes in with the Kid Goku, he's probably dead. Oh, you could bring Kid Go um, Gohan again? Why do we have two blue cards? Fire one early. Oh. Don't let him leave. I need to make sure that you're finished. You take my key, I bring it- oh wait, I can't bring it back. Ah! Oh no! Uh, let's see if I can get a red exclamation mark. Another one? He's gonna rising, I think. No, I, pr I thought I pressed it once. Big oof. Uh-oh. You haven't used a green card in a while. Damn it. Oh well, he opened up our rising rush, which is nice. I don't think he can leave just yet. I think it's been nine timer counts. Alright. Early shot. Alright, caught him there. Okay, at this point, I think we're okay. Unless he spawns another Rising Rush, we should be okay. Crits when you need it most. And then we just shot off like a bajillion of these, so we may as well go with blue. Yep. Alright. He's jumping for another one. Alright, final match of the video, going up against Ma MP, running a Goku team. We know Super Saiyan 4 is gonna be here, as well as Kakarot Goku, so we might we might not even run Kefla. Um one blue card from Kakarot Goku is pretty much a GG. Now the difficulty is um, we gotta pick our poison here. Kefla would get countered out by Super Saiyan 4. If I go Super Vegito, gets countered out by the Kid Goku is a guarantee. If I go Super Vegito, gets countered out by Kakarot Goku. So I gotta pick my poison here. Now this is usually where you wanna take advantage and understand the kits that you have. So if I know I gotta pick my poison no matter what, then a lock-in is super important for this. So locking in someone within this lineup and beating the crap out of them is what I need to do. So we're going with this lineup. Alright, Ma, let's have a good match. Support Goku. Huh, well played. Oh, the punish, man. Kid Goku's such a beast. Since he wants to approach, go for this. Alright. You're obviously gonna hit way harder than anyone else, so I'm gonna go with you. Transform. I ideally we would have had a strike uh, blast card, but whatever. I'm gonna go blast card, I think he's gonna approach. Oh. Okay. Do this. This is why I wanted a locking in. Make sure he doesn't leave anywhere. Oh, well played. Is a rising inevitable? Per potentially. Um, at this point, he needs a rising to come back here. There it is. Uh, probably a green card. But he, I don't even, even then, I don't know if he'll kill him. That definitely stinks. We guessed him too. At this point, it's GG. And I know that sounds rude to say. 
I don't want it to, even with a green card too, it's super GG. I know it sounds rude to say, but in this game, if your Rising Rush fails and your opponent gets theirs off, it's pretty much over. It really does feel like it's pretty much over. He's not going to guess blue because it would be too obvious, but I got two. Yeah, no one ever guesses the card that you immediately draw. It's too easy to predict. So our friend here got screwed over by the fact that I guessed his Rising Rush. That's pretty much how it goes. If I guess it and mine hits you, it's over. Uh, that's with with these m crazy strong units. Yeah, see. Yikes, Kid Goku still hurts though. He's a last stand unit, so I could still lose if I keep playing this wrong. I'm just gonna go straight for it. He was waiting for me to jump. Okay, I'm gonna let that be the final match of the video. A team that will punish you hardcore for any mistake you make and can still take a ton of damage. First of all, thank you for all the people that went ahead and did that for me. Thank you so much. The people that went, um, you know, whether a new player or you made a new account and you wanted to have a second account with additional Chrono Crystals, thank you for using my code. I honestly got so far. The Shenron thing is really ridiculous, but I really appreciate it. But like I was going to say, Fusion Warriors punishes you dearly, but they can take quite a hit. A very dangerous team, and the fact that they're about to get one of the best units in the game, prepare for a long fusion meta. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again. Be sure to tune in on Twitch on Sunday when the banners drop, so we can all summon together. And until next time, peace.